Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. I've had a bit of delay, some family things. Anyway, we've got uh, Pearl River as the map and Lion Balls from Fitty Clan. It's here in the Skoda T56. It's a ball Tirate battle. This platoon with Fury, Sigma Barask, and Buddy Pal and Squawking G. Uh, they're all good players. Let's we'll see how this battle turns out. I'll send comments on Quickie Baby's videos saying tier 8 or tier 8 battles are boring, but uh, on the Asia server it's a bit of a different attitude, so maybe you get a full single tier battle on everyone. Because, yep, this is what we want. They all complain about plus one or minus one. Anyway, for that, when it's coming to this um, heavy line here. Shkoda is a pretty good heavy tank in this concept. Um, two shot to auto loader. Not a bad reload time. Pretty decent alpha. He's got one shell loaded, one shot time. So, okay, what can we do here? He's so probably going to go for the Coppola, but um, to bounce the first round here, can he go for the Plate, but no, in fact, gets the home re on the side there. Still got one shot loaded, so he's going to go for the roller. And that doesn't look well. Look at the uh, alpha damage from that RD. I'm not sure if that's been buffed or whatever. But two hits there, both the PK and the RD. It's taken 500 hit points off him. Yeah, 300 from then 40, 43. That's pretty serious alpha for that tier. Alright. Anyway, could probably do a bit more damage to this hoe reef, not paying attention. Have a side shot and he'll probably get the kill right here. She does. Not a lot of hit points out of the second shot, but getting rid of the hoe is a good choice. And he's just uh, holding here for the reload before he pursues the VK. Oh, it's a VK and a VZ there, so he's got to be careful here. And also be a bit concerned about the Nomad and the Caliban if they come around the corner. Hopefully he's going to be distracted, and he's just fired, so he's going to have a fairly long reload. The other VK punishes him, but that's okay. Small Alpha uh, bounces on the VZ, so does the wise thing and does pull back there. VZ looks like he's coming after him. But, uh, he's pulling back here, and luckily the BZ doesn't penetrate, and just does some splash damage, so that's... Uh, Useful. But uh, he can be one shot by the BZ, the BZ manages to penetrate, so this one is going to be careful, but nonetheless, the BZ misses. And he gets a shot in. What I've got to deal with this BK is being annoying. Okay, Caliban, okay, some soft targets here. So one shot at the Caliban, probably won't get another shot in. Yes, he probably can, actually, yeah, gets the kill. So, gets his second kill with the game. His team is doing pretty well. He's got a Avoid the VK's taking him down another shot. Luckily, he can avoid it. Make, sorry, take it for hits here. The VK and the Rask, he doesn't want to let get behind him, so he's going to pursue here. A lot of busy comes around the corner. The Rask looks like he's running away. And luckily, he gets taken out by the swamp arm. But now he's got a chance on the BZ. Oh, a nice side shot there. Yep. And sets him on fire. That's very handy. He's going to die. Doesn't matter. Follows him up. Just want to wait to see if he's going to die. And that is the end of a difficult tank to deal with. Battles become a lot more even. They were a bit ahead there in terms of no hit points, but that's all we've come back to quality. Same with the kills, so this game is very much still in balance. Now, luckily, the VK's been taken down points, but again, he's got to be careful of the crossfire here. He's going to have to deal with this uh, T-832, which he does, gets the kill, goes into the reload straight away. Mr. Ken Love, making love, is that what that means? Yes, probably. It's got a lot of the names you see in game. Borsig gets him, but bounces luckily. 
now we can punish the Borsig who's just sitting there waiting, so I don't know what he's waiting for. He's going to take two hits, I think, and back out of the way. Yep. And sets him on fire, and that actually does the bit destroy. So, Buddy Powell's coming to help. He's been put down. This VK is still alive. I just can't believe that. Hopefully the Tornvar can do something about it. No. Must be on reload. The VK's punished him. And it's time for fly balls to do it. Oh, that's luckily a bit of a low roll there. That means he's going to take two shots to kill him. And he's just going to go for the lower plate. But it doesn't matter. The um, Tornvar finally takes him out. And he managed to get a kill on a Carnarvon. So the game now has turned around, they are back in control. Double the hit points and their four tanks up, so this game is going to be a win, it would look like, unless they throw it away. Although, my ball's not on a very healthy amount of hit points. The question is how many more, how much more damage can he do? He's got six kills though, so he's earned a top gun. We might be able to get the nerve out here, probably can, yes it does, that's seven kills there. Heading for Bradley Walters if he can get it, but um, where is the enemy now? Looks like, I was going to say the Kalana is a long way away, but he's dead now, just gone back to the garage. There's another Skoda T-56. Oh, Walters just waiting here, he's got one shot loaded, it's going to be a fury go ahead. Take the hit potentially. Yes, he's on 815, so he needs to get some shots put into him. The Skoda not coming out to play. So, who's going to go after him? Hopefully, draw out the Skoda. Come around the corner and go after a tasty little thing. And he puts a shot in, gets a nice hit in. Furies manages to avoid getting shot. And line balls can come in while he's reloading. Fury can take a hit here. I think he's just allowing line balls to come up and get the uh, altars if he can. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. And can he get the Radley? No, Fury gets it. Kill, ah, uh, kill steal. <laughs> kill steal of the, of the game. Anyway, yeah, that's a victory. Let's go and have a look at the results. Seven kills, 4.4k of damage, and 600 of uh, sister damage there, so. Just over 5k of combined. That's a nice result there. Top gun for the six kills. Just missed out on a Radley Walters. Don't platoon with Fury. <laughs> My caliber reward for the most damage and the Ace Tanker Mastery badge. All right, sorry, Fury. I will apologize for that. All right. In fact, it uh, looks like the um, Tonban came in second place, so Fury probably just needed the damage there. And um, Buddy Powell also doing pretty well in the Scorpion, but uh, not a whole lot of damage there. So really the bulk of the damage being done by Nine Balls and the Tonvan player. The enemy side, that VK actually finished on top and he did play well. He managed to hold on to his health quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately with a bit of a low alpha gun, didn't get as much out of it as he probably wanted to. The enemy T-56 who lasted to the end coming in over 2k as well and the rest of them not doing so well so that's interesting how the um, damage balanced out there but uh, 18 sorry 16 51 base experience is great level for line ball so good result and well earned so 17 shots fired this is the economic side 16 hits so definitely good shooting there I'll only 12 pens out of that uh, that was some difficult choices there uh, it did have some mission payout there, but he would have just made a very slight profit. That is a premium tank, so that would have helped. Um, but uh, all premium ammunition, it looks like line balls on a mission there to get his MOE as quickly as possible. But uh, nonetheless, uh, it paid off. So a great game there from line balls. Um, hopefully, if you got something out of this video, you can please give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, that's an option for you. I'd love to see some comments as well in the comments below, but uh, we'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.